Oh, hi there. How may I help you? Ah, yes. We've been expecting you. Follow me. So, we got your application, of course, and we really, really want you to be a part of the Foundation. We think you'd make a great asset to our team. Especially with your... Um... Is... Ability the right word? Yes, yes. But before we bring you on to the team, there is one more thing we need you to do. Most of our reviewers want you on the team based on your abilities alone. We could put you to good use here. But through that door is Dr. Hoto. If the Foundation did decide to pick you up, well, he's who you'll be working with. The Doc isn't usually fond of co-workers. He's a work-alone type of guy, but... Uh, well, just try your best to make a good impression on him, okay? And don't be nervous. I'm sure you'll do great. Okay, good luck now. Item number SCP-173. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. Item SCP-173 is to be kept in a locked container at all times. When personnel must enter SCP-173's container, no fewer than three may enter at any time, and a door is to be relocked behind them. Huh? All right, the intern. <sighs> Have a seat. I was just finishing up some recordings. Well, you talk, don't you? What's your name? All right, well, just be quiet. Let me get my work done here, and we should be good. You know, kid, you're not making a great first impression. <laughs> now you're talking. I appreciate you following my commands, but if you ever did get the job here, that's not what you'd be doing. I may have more experience than you as far as working with SCPs go, but we'd still be on an equal playing field. You sitting quietly as I do the work just makes you look shy and incompetent. If you have something to say, say it. If you don't know something or have any sort of question, then ask. The last thing to worry about in this line of work is saying something you think will make you look stupid. In this field, something as ridiculous as that can cost you your life. So, got any questions? Hmm. What is an SCP? I'll answer your question, but before I do, allow me to ask one of my own. What do you know about this organization? <sighs> hmm. That's rather unusual. Usually when the Foundation brings in people with abilities like yourself, it's by force. But the Foundation didn't find you. You found them. I suppose that alone was reason enough for us to want you on our side. We go through more than you can imagine to remain a secret, and if you manage to locate and contact us all on your own, then you could be a valuable asset here. So... You discovered the Foundation, but you don't actually know anything about us, do you? I suppose that's a basic understanding of what we do here, but there's a little more to it than that. It's been a while since I've done this, 
but if you'd like, I suppose I could explain the Foundation to you. If you're going to be helping us, then you should at least know who we are and what we do. Alright, so let's start with the basics. S-C-P. This stands for Secure, Contain, and Protect. It's not only the name of our organization, but it's also our mission statement. Our job here is to secure, contain, and protect anything that we deem worthy. You see, there are numerous unseen entities that we must keep away from the public. These entities can range from sentient sculptures with the ability to kill, to an orange glob of slime who loves giving people hugs. I know it sounds a little silly, but just keep listening. These SCPs are put into five different object classes. This is just a way for us to judge SCPs and how safe they are. The first object class is safe. Safe SCPs are ones that we know how to easily and safely contain. But let me be clear about something. Just because an SCP is in the safe category does not mean the SCP isn't dangerous. It just means that we know how to handle them with ease. Do not let your guard down just because an SCP is categorized as safe. The second object class is Euclid. This is the most common class. Euclids are SCPs that we don't easily know how to contain, or SCPs that we need to do more research on. This is pretty much where any living or sentient SCP belongs. If it's alive, it's harder to contain. If it's harder to contain, then it's probably a Euclid. The third object class is Keter. Safe SCPs are easy to contain. Euclids are unpredictable. Keters are just a pain. Keter class SCPs are SCPs that we have a difficult time containing. But just like safe class SCPs, just because it's a Keter doesn't mean it's inherently dangerous. It just means it's difficult to contain. The final SCP class is Thamiel. Honestly, I doubt you or I will ever have to deal with those, so let's save it for another time. <laughs> What's to look for? Don't believe me? Hmm, I see. I imagine hearing all of these things for the first time probably sounds a little bogus. Going from living in the regular world, working an office job, or whatever you were doing before this, to me telling you that the world is full of, well, SCPs. <laughs> I probably wouldn't believe me either. So, why don't you let me prove it to you? Here. This is your uniform. Put it on and follow me. It's time to show you what the world's really like out there. <laughs> 